Hello, my name is Mark Pachaboski. I work for Ascent. Uh, we write uh, training curriculum for different CAD software. Um, today we're going to take a look at what's new in CATIA V5 2024, uh, specifically in the part design workbench. We're going to take a look at new attributes that were added to the thick surface command, uh, preview options that were added to the thickness and replace face commands, and a new command called multi-hole. Uh, and how it works to create multiple holes at one time. First thing we're going to take a look at is within the thick surface command, there are two new attributes dealing with the edges of the uh, solid that is created when you thicken a surface. Uh, the options is the tangency objective and the maximum deviation. Now these are only available when the disable tangent continuity is turned off. If this is turned on, they'll be grayed out. When you turn these on, you'll be able to define what your tolerances are going to be for the maximum deviation or the tangency objective for the edges. Within this example, we're going to take a look at how the new attributes uh, work within the thick surface command. So if I come down here I'm in the part design workbench, go to the thick surface command, it's asking that I be active within the part body, so I'll hit OK. That now places this new feature in the part body that creates the thick surface dialog box that we see here. I'm able to select the surface that I want to thicken, define the offset distance that I want. Uh, however, now if I hit more, we have the lateral edges, the edges around the part. We can come in here and define a tangency objective and increase or decrease that tolerance or a maximum deviation for those lateral edges where it's deviating from the original. It creates that solid for us. Uh, another new function within uh, 2024 version of CATIA V5 is the uh, preview options that have been added to the replace face and the thickness uh, options. Um, before, you would have to define all your variables, hope you did them correctly, and hit OK and see if it worked. If it didn't work, you'd have to modify it to be able to get those options back and make your changes, and then hit OK and hope you did it right. Now you can hit Preview. This leaves the dialog box open, but shows you a result of all of your changes, and if you don't like it, you can make your modifications right away. In this example, we're going to take a look at the replace face and thickness commands that have had the preview button added to them uh, so that you can see what your changes are going to, how your changes are going to affect the model without having to confirm the dialog box and edit it afterwards. So here we have a simple model. I'm simply going to go down here to the thickness command. Uh, when the thickness dialog box appears, I can grab a surface. Now the dimension that shows up has always been there. And I can grab multiple surfaces. I can vary their values. Uh, if I like what I see, the new function is that I can hit preview and it actually shows me what it's going to look like. Now that edge will disappear once I hit OK, but it's going to look something like this. I can make changes and say, oh, 20 is too much. Maybe we want that to just be 15 and hit preview and it gets smaller again. Hit OK and it completes that thickness. Another option we have with the pre added preview function is the replace face. So I choose the option. It brings up this dialog box. I'm going to unhide a surface that I'd created prior. And I'm going to say replacing surface is going to be the wavy surface. The face to remove is going to be this flat one. Point the arrow towards the material I want to keep. And I can hit preview and it shows me a preview of it with, again, I can hit OK and hope for the best. This gives me a better understanding of what's going to happen, and it is successful with that model. The last new command we're going to take a look at for CATIA V5 2024 is the multi-hole command. With multi-hole, you're able to create multiple holes of the same size without the aid of a pattern. 
Uh, in prior, ver prior versions of Katia, you would have to create a single hole and then use a pattern, like a user pattern or a circular pattern or a rectangular pattern to be able to replicate it as many times as you need it. Now, you can place a sketch with points on it and it'll automatically create as many holes as you have points in that sketch. Or you can select on points within the model on a surface and it will replicate those holes for you uh, automatically. All the other options within the dialog box are similar to the regular hole command. In this example, we're going to take a look at the new multi-hole function within the part design workbench. Uh, here we have the part design workbench. I'm going to pull out the sketch base features toolbar. And right next to the regular hole command is now the multi-hole command. Uh, with this, we can select the command. The dialog box appears like that. Um, you can select existing points. So here I had four points already built ahead of time. I can hold control and grab on to, I reselected some that already existed there. There we go. Grab all four of those. Notice the locations. It says four elements and building four blind holes with a diameter of 15 millimeters uh, to whatever depth I want to set them to, but they'll all be the same. Okay, another way of doing that, I'll flip this over, is I can select multi-hole, select on the little sketch icon for locations, click the surface I want it to be located on, I'll flip that over because I'm looking at it from the other side, and what we'll do is use the point command to be able to place points where I want those holes to be. Now, we can use dimensions to control them, we can use construction lines to help, but when I exit, it creates all those holes centered on those points, similar to a user pattern, but there's no pattern here. It's all one feature, at least for that set of holes. I have one on the front, and one set of holes in the front, one set of holes in the back, all created with basically a single function for each.